Station 11, The Death of Jesus I know certainly that if you have been in the worship center when we have had the Stations of the Cross set up in the past, your eyes have been drawn to this particular piece of art. It is haunting, very strange, and hard to understand until you come very close to it. Once you are close, you begin to see that it's not only the face of a woman who is extremely distraught, but you also begin to see that her face is resting on the feet of Jesus. I have even taken the liberty to put a nail through this canvas to emphasize what the painting is about and why it is so important. I want to start by reading just a little bit from Matthew chapter 27. From noon on, darkness came over the whole land until three in the afternoon. And about three o'clock, Jesus cried with a loud voice, Ali, Ali, lema sabathani, that is, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Then Jesus cried again with a loud voice and breathed his last. At that moment, the curtain of the temple was torn in two from top to bottom. The earth shook and the rocks were split. Jesus, no one can understand why the sky is so dark. First the earthquake and now this deep, unsettling darkness. It's as though all of creation is holding its breath. Everyone sees you are dying, but most do not know why. You are not dying because of a fickle crowd or by the power of rulers, or even because nails hold your body to that cross. Any of this you could so easily have overcome. You are dying because you love us. The time has come. You place your life in God's hands and give up your spirit. At this very moment, the curtain in the temple in Jerusalem, the barrier that once separated the Father from humanity, is ripped apart, not bottom to top as by human hands trying to break into God's presence, but from top to bottom as by the very hands of heaven. Now all who desire a relationship with the Father may stand in his presence, even me, and only because of you. Learning about the importance of that curtain being ripped is such a wonderful addition to our faith development. There behind that curtain, for centuries had been the Holy of Holies that no person could go and look at. Only one priest a year was permitted behind that curtain. And when Jesus died and that curtain was ripped apart, God said to all of us, Now, because of what my Son has done, you have access to me. Let's pray. Lord Jesus, perhaps the sun withheld its light, but you, Lord, did not hold back your love and mercy. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. You take away the sin of my life. Please accept my worship and praise. Amen.